Next here tonight, they risk everything for our safety and our freedom, but the battle doesn't always end when our soldiers come home. And for some, the demons of war continue to haunt them until they take their own life. Well, tonight, Wendy Lane spotlights a brand new push to fight back against veteran suicide. John Fischetti is a Special Forces Sergeant Major and has served in the military for 25 years. I lost uh, a lot of friends of mine. I've been shot five times, blown up a couple times. Fischetti says the trauma left him struggling physically, emotionally, and mentally. He says he was afraid to ask for help and was suicidal. But I didn't have the tools to deal with the emotions that I was dealing with or deal with the lack of emotions I was dealing with. It hit me pretty hard and I started pushing everybody in my life away from me. And he's not alone in this feeling. Just in Florida alone, in 2019, 600 veterans died by suicide. In Tampa Bay uh, is one of the largest veteran populations, I think, in the state, if not the nation. And so, um, you know, we should be very proud of that, but also we should be a national leader when it comes to addressing the issues that we're seeing. And Florida State Senator Danny Burgess is helping with two big pushes. One of them, Bill 1712, it will give the VA funding to create a suicide prevention pilot program. This will train people handling veterans benefits claims to recognize former service members in distress and offer crisis counseling. The other is the recognizing veterans suicide memorial that was sent by the legislature to Congress asking them to fully fund suicide prevention efforts. In order for us to really, really solve this problem, it's going to take more than just the government. Like SOF missions, we served thousands of veterans, and the reality is, is that we have yet to have even one suicide. Better funding would help more vets have access to programs like SOF missions, an organization in the Tampa Bay area for veterans and active military members focusing on holistic treatment of the mind, body, and spirit. Psychological, physical, social, and spiritual care. Warriors come to us for a one week intensive, and then we provide coordinated care all the way up to one year with our top notch, best in the business health care providers. And it's a program that Fischetti says helped save his life. People need to know it's out there because had I not accidentally ran into it, I might not be here today. Wendy Lane, ABC Action News. Well, if you or someone you know is struggling with thoughts of suicide or depression, call the number on your screen. It's right there. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is up and running 24-7.